Do you ever wonder why you're not living the life that you really want? Well, today I'm going to give you three reasons why, because as soon as you start to understand these reasons, you are going to have more success in creating your dreams. So if you want to find out what the reasons are, then be sure to keep watching. Hello, gorgeous, and welcome back. My name is Jen Stevens. I'm a holistic manifestation coach and creator of Recode Manifestation Academy. And I'd love to welcome you aboard today. This channel is where I create a brand new video for you every single week, all about the art of creating your most extraordinary life using the tools of mindset and manifestation. So if you are at all interested in up-leveling your life and achieving your juicy, bold dreams, then you'll wanna go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Today, I'm going to share with you some of the secrets about why you are not living the life that you want. So before we jump into it, <laughs> the title sounds a little bit harsh and I don't want to be super judgmental and tell you that you're a loser for not living your perfect dream life. However, I do wanna start a little bit of a fire under your butt and get you a little bit more excited for the things that you can achieve. I see so many beautiful, smart, talented people out there who are full of self-doubt and you know they're busy dreaming big and then you know not really taking any action and then feeling very self-judgmental and very down about themselves because their life isn't matching up with what they really want so there really is only one way through this and that's to figure out where your unique blocks are so hopefully this video today is going to give you a little taste of what that is so that you can finally get on the other side and become that person that you were really born to be. Okay, the first reason that you are not living the life of your dreams is because your subconscious mind doesn't want you to. <laughs> I have spoken about this on this channel and inside Recode so many times, but I'm here to talk about it one more time for you. Basically, we all have a huge tug of war between what our conscious mind wants and what our subconscious mind wants. And they're actually not always on the same page. You are basically only aware of your conscious thoughts. So you think like, what possible reason would I ever have to not become a millionaire? Or not to have this fabulous relationship or not to buy this dream house. But... Your subconscious mind doesn't really want any of that stuff. Your subconscious mind wants to keep you safe. And the way it does that is by trying to keep you exactly the same. This is one of the most important reasons why we find it so hard to make any change in our life. If we don't realize that part of our brain is trapping us, then we'll never probably be able to get on the other side of that. The truth is, Sometimes it feels like the world is working against you or you're just unlucky or cursed or something like that. But what's really happening is that you are self-sabotaging yourself and that is all your subconscious mind's fault. See, your subconscious mind really just wants you to play small, to not take big action, to not do anything new. So it is going to create a whole bunch of different roadblocks that you are going to fall into that will prevent you from doing what you want. So the first thing to understand is that inside every single one of us is this very large part of us, like 90% of our brain, that isn't actually on board with what we want. This is the reason why inside my Recode Manifestation Academy, we do hypnosis, we do subconscious reprogramming. We take this into account. Because yeah, your subconscious mind right now might not want the things that you want consciously, but there are ways that you can heal and reprogram and get on the other side of that. Me telling you this is not cursing you to be unhappy and unsuccessful forever. Hopefully I'm inspiring you to do the right sort of action to get both sides of your mind on the same track. Reason number two, why you don't have the life that you really want is because you are suffering from low self-worth. Again, this is a hard one for a lot of people to wrap their minds around because we've all been shown these images of self-care and self-love that involve things like bubble baths and going on a long walk. And of course, those things are nice and yeah, they can definitely be 
part of your self-care and self-worth routines. But I want you to start to get really clear about what your self-worth is actually like. This is how I want you to do this. You are the bouncer of your life. You are in charge of everything that is in your world. So I want you to start to look around right now and notice, hey, this shitty relationship that I'm in maybe isn't the best for me or I'm in this job that isn't paying me as much as I want. So why am I still here? Most of us have some area in our life where we are not valuing ourselves. It is really easy to point the finger at, you know, the crappy boyfriend or the cheap boss and tell them that that is why your life sucks right now. But the common denominator is you and you get to set your standards your boundaries, you get to set all the rules. And if your rules are too small, that is just showing me evidence that your self-worth is not big enough. The example I always like to use for this is that we can all think of a friend who is consistently dating underneath themselves, would date people that you would never ever date for you, right? We can all think of somebody like this. So while it's really easy for us on the outside to point our finger and be like, why are you putting up with that? In a certain way, in one area or another, we are all doing this to ourselves. We are settling for way less than we actually want and actually deserve. But we've gotten so used to living like this that we think that this is the only reality. Working on your self-worth game is one of the best ways to change your magnetism. And it really is about raising your standards, setting a new lower minimum set point, deciding I will no longer tolerate this level of, you know, disrespect or low pay or whatever, whatever it is in your world. You are the one who gets to write the rules. Again, it's too easy to play victim, to blame other people, to be like, oh, woe is me. It is a lot more difficult to do the work to raise your own standards because sometimes raising your own standards means you have have to start all over again or maybe it means you have to be single for a while or maybe it means you have to put yourself out there in a big bold new way raising your standards is the only way you get to have the life that you want you cannot have the life that you want when you are letting in some of the crap that you are putting up with right now and this is all a self-worth issue reason number three why you don't have the life that you really want is because you think it's for other people in this day and age of social media it is so easy to fall into this trap so when you open up your instagram and you see all these beautiful photos of people that are taken on professional shoots they're all airbrushed they're you know wearing the right outfits and the right lighting and all of that stuff it can be easy to think that like you know that's just what that person's world looks like and because my world doesn't look like that then you know i can probably never be that successful entrepreneur or artist or whatever we tend to think that when we look at people who we admire online, that they are just born with some secret, that they have some sort of advantage that we can never have. But most of the time, that is completely un true behind the scenes behind the airbrushing you know there's probably a lot of hard work a lot of blood sweat and tears and you cannot discount that the problem with looking at the world this way though is that when we think that there's just some special people out there we think that we can't be special therefore we can't have these things so we don't even go for them we stop setting the big goals we stop trying to compete i mean not that it's a competition but we just kind of opt out of that way of living because we think it is just not possible for us. You need to take all of your big, juicy, amazing goals off of that giant pedestal and bring them into your world. Because as long as you keep buying into this fantasy that only perfect people or these kinds of people, people that live in California, people that, I don't know, whatever, whatever the thing is for you, as long as you still think that only those kinds of people can have the kind of life that you really want, you are blocking yourself from getting it. You need to remember that you create your rules, you create your results, and you can have anything. If you buy into this fantasy perfectionist thinking you are just blocking yourself, you are preventing yourself from taking even one step forward. And ultimately, that is doing your life a disservice. You were brought here on this precious, amazing human journey and you were given these desires, not to torture you, but to lead you forward. And I really suggest that anything 
that gets in the way of you making progress to that life that you really want, you need to learn how to get on the other side of it. You cannot take no for an answer. You have to get bold and start on the inside and really start to switch up your thinking, your programming, your self-worth, all of it. And that is how you begin to create what you want. So that is it for today. I really hope that this inspired you. I really hope that I have lifted your spirits and made you more excited about going after your goals. I know it can be so easy to give up on yourself or to, you know, get tired and be human and put things on the back burner. So today I'm hoping that I've really ignited that fire under you again so that you can start to take action in whatever way you need to in order to make your dream life happen. There are no coincidences, so I hope you take whatever you learned in this video with you and apply it to your life. If you wanna learn more about working with me, then I invite you to come over and check out Recode because I've got all the tools of transformation inside of there. If you like this video today, please do me a favor, give me a like, and other than that, happy manifesting, and I'll see you back here in another video.